Hello, this is Isabel, and I'm here with the Between Classes podcast. I have Jen Novotny joining me, and she is going to give us a little behind the scenes into some of the student union updates that have been happening over the summer. So Jen, will you tell us a little bit about your position here at SDSU and what you do? Absolutely. Uh, Thanks so much for having me. My name is Jennifer Novotny, and you can call me Jen. I work in the student union. I've been the senior director for a while there, and I oversee the student union and the programs within the building. So you're the face behind the union. That's right. I know, I've seen you walking down Main Street, (laughs) smiley face always. (laughs) So when I walk around there this summer, I've just seen, you know, you hear the construction, you see things changing, a lot's going on in there. Absolutely. So what's some of the projects that as students come back this fall semester, they're going to notice right away walking down Main Street? Yeah, well, thank you for asking because there's a lot of really cool stuff happening, actually. I'm excited. On my way over here today, it was very loud, and um, that means it's a sign of progress. Things are moving and shaking. So there's a lot going on. Let me just kind of touch on these little pieces, and then if you have questions, let me know. So we have... Um, been very fond of Union Coffee. You're probably familiar with that station. It had a bit of a facelift over the summer, and so now it is the new home for Java City. We'll still be called Union Coffee, but it's a different brand of coffee being served there. Uh, it's we, a hot spot. I always see a wine. <laughs> Everybody needs their coffee. It is, <laughs> and even in the middle of summer when it's been a lot quieter, it's been a busy hopping place. Um, so as Starbucks opens on the side of campus, the Java City will take that that place in the building. So um, we also have Einstein Brothers Bagels getting. A major facelift as well. So a, mu- a big part of that program was actually to add some back of house kitchen space to provide better service. Um, have you ever been there? Um, do you know it's very busy oh, all the time? Always. It's super popular. Always. So it was um, added into the facility in 2009 and it's still hopping. It really never got slowed down at all. Um, students really love that space, but one of our, our problems in that area is, is speed of service. So one of the major things that that um, renovation is, is addressing is back of house so that they've got um, enough room for bagels. And um, as you know, they moved into the caribou mindset as well. And so there'll be a few facelifts in in the amenities there. Um, You will notice the seating is going to be rearranged. And so that was to accommodate the the new queuing lines. And there will be several points of sale. Um, So that means not just one. Yep. And and that will be maybe a little confusing at first, but there'll be great signage to help lead the way. Um, Lots of options for coffee. Yes, I think that's really important. (laughs) (laughs) Not getting rid of Starbucks, just adding another one. That would be very scary. Caribou. Right. You'll have lots of options. Um, And we know that Einstein's um, has a great following already, but I think with our new students, it's going to be a great way to start the year with with a bit more point of sale options. So um, then and the next thing that's happening is that we are having this little thing called a, a phased renovation. So um, you might have heard that last year we started really kind of honing in on what that would be. And the first phase of this is moving Multicultural Center upstairs to a more visible, prominent space in the building. So if you orient your mind to where Union Coffee is right now, it's going to be just kind of directly above that area. Um, I'm pointing, so you can't see this, yeah. but... Um, second floor. Second floor, <laughs> thank you, up. And it's going to be um, very visible. There will be some glass encasement there, so you'll be able to see what's going on when you walk in the building. Um, but it also is is designed to be just part of the flow of that main street. Um, in that multicultural center, it also includes some, um, some free space, some hangout space for students, but also... Uh, disability services, and several programming um, offices that will be dedicated to providing support to students um, in that area. So it's actually really pretty neat that that's happening right now. And by mid-October, they're telling us that it should be done. So in the meantime, there are a few kind of wild and wacky things in the building. Um, one of the things I'd want to mention is that our meeting rooms had to be relocated. So if you're somebody who <laughs> who spent a lot of time meeting in the Oakwood room and the Black Hills room and the Walter room, those will be reappearing somewhere in a building um, we call the Union soon. But right now, the temporary spaces will be where those OMA spaces were originally. So that's in the lower level behind Jack's place. Yeah, I think that'll be a great addition to SDSU as we're really trying to focus on that diversity and moving that from the basement upstairs 
it'll just be more in focus to students walking by, yeah. going up there, how can I get involved, having yeah. someone to see and talk to Absolutely. right there. Yeah. So inside that office, not only do they have multicultural affairs, so disabilities is moving up with them. It is. Mm -hmm. And then they'll have their student organizations such as Black Student Alliance, Latin American Student Association. Those are moving up with them. Yes, that's correct. Wonderful. And then I also saw that back in that corner, kind of by Lewis and Clark in the Pioneer meeting room, there's some construction going on back there. What's that room going to look like? So that will be sort of the first piece of uh, another phase that we're going to get into down the road, but that is our first meeting room transition. So that was formerly the Cottonwood Room. Um, the Cottonwood Room is an original part of the building, so the 1970-something building. And um, we were able to, with this construction project, just sort of tack that on the back end of that space. Um, that will become our first sort of model um, meeting room to follow. So as you know, a lot of the space in that the second floor is meeting room space. And so what you'll see in that space will be kind of an indicator of what you'll be seeing soon in other meeting rooms. It's very, very, very cool. Exciting. Mm -hmm. Lots of big changes happening yes. here for the better. Mm -hmm. Always. Um, and then that room in the basement that was the Multicultural Affairs Center and offices, is yes. that kind of just developing into uh, more office space, so someone else So that is a great in. question. So in the temporary, it will be our relocation for a couple of meeting rooms. Um, it's a large space, so we were able to get two major meeting rooms relocated into that area. Um, and there will be signage denoting that so that when you come back, it won't be too confusing. But if you get confused along the way, you can always stop at in th uh, the information desk and ask them. They'll know how to navigate. So then our next phase of this process is going to be um, really looking at the programming for a couple of things. So where do those meeting rooms go permanently? And then uh, also, what do we do to co-locate some of our student organization activity in the building? Um, right now, we've got lots of really cool organizations that are kind of parceled out throughout the building. And one of the things that we learned last year from students is that they wanted to see some common space together so that student organizations can come together and also provide a very visible experience for students to join in on. I so like we don't that, know exactly yeah. how that's going to flesh out yet, but the architects are going to be working closely with us um, early this fall and start to develop that. Yeah, kind of bringing everyone together as yes. one to really make a larger impact on this campus yeah. as they already do individually, but together. Yeah, you got it. Good ideas are happening here. <laughs> So uh, along with all these changes, there's still a lot of things the same in the union. Yes. As you can find the Greek life offices, student affairs office, all of those things will still be there in right. that location. Just some things moving around. Right. And we will be um, really focusing on some wayfinding so that our signage can help you find your way. Because if you came here last year, it's going to look a little different. It's going to be a little louder because there's a little construction activity. But yes, you're right. We have a lot of the same programs here in the building as well. Awesome, yeah. Are there any other changes or inside scoops you want to let students in on? <laughs> well, I will tell you that our student organizations that are housed in the building are um, just now getting into the, the planning phases for the fall and fall opening. And so um, there are a lot of exciting events happening within student media. Student uh, the Students run the Collegian and the radio station, and they're gearing up to help with move-in. Um, and you'll, you'll hear their voices out on the move-in um, day. And a lot of our student organizations are planning events for the first couple of weeks of, of um, a student's life here on campus. Mm -hmm. So it's been very, very busy in those student offices already. Um, it's August, so I guess we're, we're going to start seeing it fly. Going quick. <laughs> yeah. So if students do want to get involved in some of those um, offices that they see, are they able to just stop on in? How Absolutely. do they find that information? That's a great question. So I will tell you that um, we are Really proud to bring Jack's Club Hub into focus again this year. And we um, we also have a student activities office right off the main vein of the building. So right across from Union Coffee is our student engagement center. And that involves our career development staff and our student activity staff. Um, we always have somebody at the front desk there at the reception who can help direct uh, traffic if you come in and you have some questions. But if you're just a student out looking for experiences, um, Jack's Club Hub is a great place to start. And you get online and you can sort of look at what other student organizations are doing on our campus. The hub for it all. Yes. As it, just in the name. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> well, thank you Absolutely. for giving us a look into what's happening here in the Union. I'm sure students will be just excited as we are as they come back here. <laughs> I hope so. In three short weeks. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Um, just to wrap up, I kind of want to mm -hmm. ask you two questions that we're going to ask everyone when we end this okay. podcast. So the first one is, what is your favorite thing about SDSU? Oh, that's easy. People. <laughs> the people. I love the people here. Absolutely. I've heard that from a lot of people. It's yeah. really people-centered. Yeah. And it is. revolves around 
I think a place the this big, it's amazing, but you do find your way quickly and people are eager to help and eager to, to um, be connected. And so, yeah, I think, I think the people are great here. Special thing to be a part of. Mm-hmm. And then that last question, what's your favorite thing about Brookings or the community that SDCU is in? <laughs> well, I'm going to recycle my last answer because really I think um, I've been here a long time now and I think that the people in the community are part of the reason why I've made this my home. Um, there's lots of really great things happening here in the community with lots of growth, but um, I have kids at home and we love the Children's Museum, we love the library, um, we're major, major fans of the library. So there's lots of other neat things going on here as well. I think it's great that it shows that you have the same answer for those two questions <laughs> because there is that connect that yeah. the community and SDSU are Absolutely. both people centered and they yeah. come together where you might not find that on every campus, but yeah. here it really is that connection of People. I do think we're pretty special here. Absolutely. Yep. Well, thank you, Jen. Thanks thank you. for having um, being on our podcast today. And we're lucky to get to hear about the Student Union. Absolutely. Have thank a great you. Day. Thank you.